All right, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of GNG News. So today I want to get myself some more good cards. So I'm going to show you some of the bits and pieces that I have in one of my collections just here. These are mostly uh, V cards. So this is a newer sort of collection. I want to try and fill up another book full of uh, Pokemon V cards from all different sets. From single strike to rapid strikes to promos. And so on and so forth. Get some of my really nice ones at the back. I know we've got an EX in there, but that's a beautiful EX card. So yeah, I've got a triple ballista pack to open up today. Hopefully I can find something decent inside this triple ballista pack. Like this is one of the decent things I got from a triple ballista. Um yeah, hopefully I can pull something decent today to add into my collection. Recently, polls wise, what did I get? So I will show you my recent polls. They weren't the best, but we did get some more V-cards, so I will eventually need to get another one of these little mini binders to keep some cards into. So I ended up with not one, but two uh, Necrozma Vs, an Empoleon V, and just a normal, uh, load of just pretty much normal cards. Obviously the Eerie promos, but they're promo cards, you know, so they're not technically pulls. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we've got a triple ballista pack to open up today, as I said, comes with the EV promo, all the ones that I've had, I've had the EV promo or the Jolteon promo, I had seven in total with EV promos, two in total with Jolteon promos, uh, triple ballista, so three booster packs, one shaming coin, you also get a code card for this, uh, pack itself, so you get four in total, one with the pack itself, one code card each with each Battle Stars booster pack and a Shaman playable coin. So, not too bad. Um, I have noticed what a lot of people have been doing as well. I don't know if you're in the UK and you've noticed people doing this, but I go to Asda a lot and it seems that these seem to be getting bought from Asda and then people are like reselling them on, um, which is crazy. So, this is a Tyranitar booster pack. Hopefully, you can pull some of the decent out of this one. If you like Pokemon, make sure to go to www.pokemon.com. Little indication of whether you've got a good booster pack or not. Normally, if you have a green and white code card, you get a better pull. But you can also use these code cards for the Pokemon trading card game online. And I pulled really decent stuff with green code cards. So I guess it doesn't always technically matter if you play the Pokemon TCGO. Um, you have a second chance of pulling yourself something really good. First up, we have Gligar with 70 health points being a fighting type Pokemon, having a move of Slash. Dex entry 207 being a Fly Scorpion Pokemon. 71 out of 163. Electabuzz from Generation 1, of course, being an electric type Pokemon with 80 health points. 125 is its dex entry. Haymaker is its move. 44 out of 163. Bellsprout from Generation 1, of course, being a grass type Pokemon with 50 health points, being a flower Pokemon with a dex entry of 69, having a move of Venoshock. And it is 1 out of 163, so it's the first card from the Battle Styles uh, set. Bronzer up next with 50 health points, sorry, 60 health points, being a steel type Pokemon, having one move of Ram. It's a bronze Pokemon with a dex entry of 436, 101 out of 163. Merkur up next with 70 health points, being a darkness type Pokemon, having two moves, one a scout, the other a peck. Dex entry of 198, 93 out of 163. Gligar is our, or Gligar is our pull for today. Not too bad. We literally got the normal variant and now this version of it. So I guess that's something to add to our collection. Marowak. Having 110 health points being from Generation 1, being a Bone Keeper Pokemon with a dex entry of 105, having a move of Boomerang, 70 out of 163, and it also has an ability of Battle Armor. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks after applying weakness and resistance. Our energy card for today was a Psychic Energy, followed up by Ndidi with 90 health points being an Emotion Pokemon with a dex entry of 876, 120 out of 163, has a move of Hand Kinesis and another move of Collect. And we have a Trainer Supporter, Swordwood and Shilbert. Choose a trainer card from your discard pile, then ask your opponent if you may put it into your hand. If yes, then put that card into your hand. If no, then you can draw three cards. 135 out of 163. You may play only one supporter card during your turn. And last but certainly not least, our final card for today, a water card by the name of Cradonk with 130 health points being a rogue Pokemon with X entry of 342. Two moves, one of knockout, the other of crab hammer. 39 out of 130. 63 that's our first booster pack opened up for today out of the ones that we already have so that was our pull wasn't the best but as they say you've got to be in it to win it but without further ado i'll be back in the next episode where i will open up another one of these boosters